Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome to the show at Wise Up Rise Up Show with me, your host, the Queen Bee, Danny Wong. How are you feeling as we chat this morning to the devilishly handsome, the fabulously wonderful, the incredibly knowledgeable Mr. Fidel Bo Hill, the modern man? Good morning. Jordi Soul, good morning. Babna Reddy, good morning. Elise Woodside, good morning. <laughs> Devilishly handsome, Ian Dixon. Good morning, sir. Shut up, for f- <laughs> sake. Jesus. The fantastic Lizzie Jackson Barrett. Good morning. Good morning. Josephine Sandra, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hello, everybody. Do you know what? I watch that every single morning. I think I'm going to try and switch up the way that I say good morning because I couldn't I couldn't believe how very, very consistent I was in the way that I said it. But good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome to the show, Wise Up Rise Up Show with me, your host, Danny Wallace. I hope you are feeling good this morning. If you are watching along, please make sure you are commenting along in the comment section. If you are watching on the Queen Bee uh, Danny page and in the Hive, I will be able to see your comments. If you are posting um, on the Danny Wallace, on my personal profile, I might not be able to see your comments. So if you do want to get amongst the conversation today, do me a favour, do you a favour, head on over to the IATQB Hive, which is my free community, or to the Queen Bee Danny page on Facebook. Here's how it's going to go down. If you are new to the show, this show started at the beginning of lockdown version 1.0 as a means to get myself the F out of bed because there was a real risk that um, that if I was allowed and left to my own devices that my lions would get longer and longer and longer to the detriment of my work and my kids. Um, so we started the show as a means to, uh, to, to be an alternative to the breakfast news, which sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you turn the news on, you go, oh, fuck's sake, what's going on now? Whereas actually... What we could do within the morning is a little bit of love and a little bit of optimism and a little bit of motivation and a little bit of inspiration. So I created the show at Wise Up Rise Up Show in that kind of vein. So thank you to all of our regular um, our regular followers, our regular audience. It's nice to see you. Let's see who's first past the post this morning. It's Susan Hutton. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. Good morning to Sam Clark. How are you? Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to Jojo Smith from Creative Sass sending you a shug this morning, a sassy shimmy hug. Is that one of them ones where you hug and you go, oh, I like that because I could do with one of them hugs this morning. Fidel Bowhill, modern man in the house. Good morning, Fidel. Lovely to see you here on the show this morning i've got a fantastic guest um we're going to see so yesterday we talked about mindset and we talked a little bit well we talked quite a bit around it being still okay to be feeling what you're feeling there was top three tips yesterday that came through one was um to have structured dicking about so that you are not putting yourself under huge amounts of pressure all the time. And sometimes what we do is we scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Facebook, telling ourselves that we are working. And the other is allowing yourself to feel whatever it is that you're feeling, regardless of what is going on right now. So we could be, you know, or, or, you know, last week was a hugely difficult week in terms of it was this realisation. It wasn't much different than tier four, but this realisation that the kids are off school. Here we are in lockdown. We're going to be homeschooling. We're going to be doing all of this sort of stuff. And it's OK to feel great about that. And it's OK to feel shitty about that. The idea is, is that we're not taking away from anybody's feelings, just allowing it. And also, what was the last one? Who can remember the last one? There was a really good one for the last one. If you remember what the last top tip was, can we share it in the comments? Um, But today we are moving from that mindset space, that allowance space into some more practical stuff because it's okay to be thinking about all the fluffy things. But a lot of us here want to get shit done while we're at it as well. Uh, So Nikki Machizik is going to be joining us. I do hope I've said that. Have I said that right, Nikki? No, have I fuck? So (laughs) Nikki is going to be joining us in just a second. (laughs) I want to say Nikki Majestic is what I want to say. Um, so when Nikki comes on, she'll she'll school me on saying her name properly and also share with you um 
what it is that she does around helping businesses create incredible strategies. She's just the most wonderful business support. Um, so we're going to be talking about that today. How are you all feeling in the world of IATQB? It has been a very exciting week. Lots and lots of client delivery in, in readiness for 2021. Also, we have launched and opened the doors to the Rockstar Level Up Mastermind. So me and Nikki James have been having some wicked conversations with um, the new members of the Mastermind that are jumping on board and uh, there are only 20 spaces they are now officially filling up which is just phenomenal i was on the phone till oh god like gone almost 10 o'clock last night talking there's so many of you that are uh, that are interested in joining and jumping onto the rockstar level up mastermind so at 3 p.m for those of you that want more information at 3 p.m every single day this week and next week, we're going to be sharing what is going on with the Rockstar Level Up Mastermind and how you can get involved if you are wanting to turn the dial up of your branding and your visibility and indeed your business this year. So that is the Rockstar Level Up. Super, super, super exciting. It has some the most phenomenal conversations. The most phenomenal people are jumping on board for this new cohort. And then, of course, in just a couple of weeks' time, for our current cohort of the Rockstar Level Up Mastermind, we are going to be releasing our collaborative book, into the world. So Secret Squirrels, those of you who know who you are, those of us that help with all of our media traction and sharing, we will need you on the 27th of January, ready for our incredible bestseller campaign around our book. Uh, so please keep your eyes and your ears peeled for that really, really exciting couple of weeks coming up for us. All right. Tell us in the comments, what have you got coming up that you are excited about? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Congratulations to Fidel filling up the Council of Kings uh, with another set of 10 phenomenal kings ready for their intrepid journey with their fearless leader. Huge love for the work that you're doing with the boys out there, my friend. Uh, good morning, good morning. I'm full and beyond full of sassy gratitude for you showing up. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just posted an awesome video in the hive. It will make you smile if you have little learners at home. You are not alone. Alone. I am here with you for that. Hello to Darren Stanton. Darren, we need you on the show. Come on, come on, come and get into my inbox. Let's have you on the show. We've got the um the human lie detector that is the wonderful Darren Stanton is in the audience today. So then, y'all. Your bonnie buggers, your bunch of belters. I hope you are ready to be getting shit done today. That is what we are going to be talking about. And we're going to be talking about it with the incredible Nikki. Are you ready to school me on your surname? She's ready. She's going to kick me backside now. I know it. <laughs> Nikki, hello. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I am so good. A, I am digging your glasses. And B, <laughs> my sincerest apologies for effing up your surname. That's all right. Yeah, my sister-in-law's like, you are not buying your glasses without me. So uh, this is courtesy of her shopping with me when we are allowed to shop together. Not right now. Yeah. <laughs> sister-in-law has got yeah. all of the style with the glasses. Yeah. I am juicing yeah. new ones. I've got these. My daughter calls them my Deirdre glasses because they're kind of like that see-through plasticky. They're not quite yeah. as big as Deirdre Barlow's, but they're, like my, they're my Deirdre glasses. So I'm going to go funky on my glasses next yeah, time. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. So the pronunciation is Matty Azik. Matty Azik. So Matty and then Azik, silent J. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. And I'm so, so sorry. I should have. Don't worry, love. <laughs> um, okay. So, Nikki, um, yeah. tell us about what it is that you do. Yeah, so I work predominantly with female business owners, entrepreneurs who are really looking to achieve their goals, achieve their vision, um, and they need a bit of a kick up the bum, really. Right. They need somebody to help them um, stay on track, stay accountable, stay focused. And yeah, like you've just said, you know, really just get shit done because essentially we've got so much that we're working on in our business all the time. We actually yeah. forget to be working on our business to right. help us to move forward. So that's where I come in. And I think that when you, like you say, when you're in your business and you're, you know, you're in delivery, I know I like a lot of that for me this week is very much in what it is that I'm doing. I'm in a lot of delivery, but I also yeah. need to be thinking about what's coming up. I need to have kind of one eye up and ahead of what's going on. And sometimes yeah. that's quite difficult as an entrepreneur to do on your own. And yeah. I'm in the reason why I have mentors and coaches and, yeah. and the reason why you've got the business that you do is... Yeah with that realization and that doesn't mean that when you need that that doesn't mean that you're any less of an entrepreneur that you can't spin the plates on your own in fact yeah. probably 
the, understanding the necessity of that allows yeah. you to grow and scale, doesn't it? Oh, totally. I mean, I remember really early on in my business journey, reaching out to my very first business coach at the time and just thinking, I need somebody to help me. I need a sounding board. I need someone to help me get this planned so that I can go out and, yeah, do the delivery, but really have someone help me focus and get that strategy and plan in place so that because I'm very much a doer. So, you know, I just need the action plan and off I go. Hence why I'm working with Lisa Johnson right now, because that's exactly how she works. And I love that. Yeah. But, you know, it's it really is around, um, you know, having, I think, that sounding board, someone who gets you, someone who gets what you're doing and someone who can help hold that vision and belief in you with you. If you see what yeah. I mean, so that, you know, you are there really um, helping you step into where you want to be. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You're getting some love this morning. You're saying about working with Lisa Johnson. I've also worked with Lisa Johnson. She's absolutely yeah. phenomenal. There are lots yeah. of us in this audience. Either no other, if you don't, do go and check her out. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are part of the Mastermind Wave. I was the OG cohort of Wave, and you and you yeah. came. At, you are on the on the new cohort of Wave, and so is Bridget. I think yeah. so is Joan Fisher. Is that right? We've got Waves yeah. in the house. Yeah, if you yeah. are um if you are uh, a fellow waver, give us a wave. Let us know who you are in the comments yeah, so we definitely. can give you a little shout out. Um yeah. but yeah, it it being being a part of or or seeking out help mm. for the things you need. Sometimes you don't even know that you need them. Oh gosh, no, absolutely. And I find that a lot of business owners want to really get through that first six to 12 months first before they realize they can't do it all on their own right they realize that they're in overwhelm or they're frustrated they're really busy and they're not making progress and yeah they just know that they need some help and that's really where I find people then are ready to come and work with either someone like me or maybe a business coach but yeah I think people have got to feel the pain points before right. they go right okay i'm actually really ready to invest now yeah. and start doing their research but they've got to go through it i've had very few clients who have come to me from the outset and gone i need to be on the journey yeah because i think we do we get a bit ballsy don't we and sometimes i think we don't realize our potential it's only when we get in it that we realize that this can't just be it no, but how do, how do I open my eyes to seeing the potential of more? And it's like you say, you've got to experience some of that pain. And people think that when you when you've got a business, experiencing pain is a negative experience. But actually, it's absolutely ne it's necessary for you to feel some sort of disconnect in order for you to start connecting your dots. Because no business is is started in its completion, is it? No, absolutely. And. You know, I kind of, I, I launched a course in the quarter of last year, and that was really around, um, you know, running your business does not come with a manual. You know, there's not someone sat there going, do you remember those Hanes like manuals? Do you know what I mean? The car manuals going, right, if you need to fix this on day 21, it's this, this, this and this. Right. So it's like, you know, I think the the people that I've had on that course have gone, oh my God, I'm really staggered by how much I've got to think about, consider, be on top of, get in place. So, and I've had people on that course who have been in business three, five, seven years, you know, they're, they're, they're still going, oh my God, I still don't have the basics and the structure in place. Absolutely. So, so Nikki, tell us what brought you to this work? What brought you to this work in this space? Because there, there are... I often find, and I find this fascinating, there's often specific things that happen that bring people into entrepreneurship, that bring people yeah. into the service industry within entrepreneurship as well. So mm. tell us a little bit about your journey to, to get into where you are right now. Yeah, sure. So like real short version. So I, my background's in buying. I was actually in the corporate world for a long time. Um, and I kind of ended up leaving that industry but learned so so much from it you were involved in absolutely everything as a buyer and I ended up going into network marketing I ended up doing a few kind of freelance project manager type jobs and I actually found that 
network marketing taught me a huge amount. I know yes. it can get some bad rap. I know people yep. are like, is it pyramid? Is it this? Is it that? But actually, I was with a company called Forever Living, and their personal development and training was second to none. Right. And I ended up kind of feeling a bit of a crossroads in my business going, you know, I know I don't want to stay with network marketing, but what do I want to do? Right. And I came across a networking group called Women Mean Biz. And I thought, I'm just going to go and check it out. But actually, by becoming a member of the, that particular networking group, I really started to hear and see where businesses were frustrated, overwhelmed, struggling, feeling challenged. And I'm like, hold on a second, I can help these people. So that's where Business Buddy was really born. Like as in, you know, I got to I got to know people, I got to build relationships, I got to have one-to-ones with them. And that is where I started working with a lot of those people and helping them develop and, and achieve their goals. I think it's interesting. I always find the network marketing um, conversation fascinating. So yeah. very much like you, I was with a cosmetics company and it, it just made sense for me at that particular point in time because I was in my car putting my makeup on anyway. So I might as well tell people if there's a brand that I really like, I might yeah. as well tell people what I'm putting on my face as I'm putting it on my face. And if they want to buy it off me, then they can do. Yeah, Because I was doing things in the way that I was doing them and because I was a leader anyway. So I'd spent a number of years in corporate and teaching yeah. and training that yeah. I felt naturally like like you when you're in corporate and you're in that space yeah you can take that business acumen bring it into network marketing and what network marketing does a lot of the companies do this very well is mindset work and oh. heart work and resilience work which is yeah. what you need when you work within network marketing which yeah. I'm, I'm, I'd like to add I know is an absolutely viable way of making yeah. money and building business yeah. If you put the work in and you do it right, you've got to do it ethically and you've got to do it right. Yeah. Um, but um, but it does get a bad rap and it does get a bad rap because people do it in, in experience and, and yeah. they, you know, they flop around and think they've got to copy everybody when actually yeah. the skills that we learn as businesses is that you've got to stand out, you've got to stand out authentically, you've got yeah. to sell with integrity, you can't yeah. just spam everybody and expect to right. sell stuff. So... It, I, I I came from the same space and then realised yeah. that it wasn't just within network marketing that I wanted to lead. I wanted mm -hmm. to, you've got transferable skills yeah. to create movements that reach far outside the product range or suite of products that you've got to sell. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's, that happens for for astute business people. I think that happens quite quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so how did you find the switch? How did you find moving from that to working, like holding for yourself? Because you get like, within network marketing and within corporate, you get a lot of support. Yeah. And then you are on your own and you suddenly don't have that suite of support around yeah. you. I mean, gosh, I think for me, um, looking back, like I say, I found a, a coach and a mentor really early on in my right. journey. That was really important to me. Um, didn't know how I was going to pay for it. Like right at the beginning, I didn't have two bloody two pieces to rub together. And I was like, but I made it happen every month. I made sure that obviously their bills was paid, which was really important. But the switch for me was really, um, do you know, I stepped in that space of being in a networking group. I stepped in that space of being around like minded female business owners yeah. who who had had your back as well as you had theirs. They weren't. I, I saw one of your posts recently about you know, women all working together and not like, you know. Against uh, each other or in competition. Other. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think for me, stepping into that space, I I worked really hard on my business, um, really worked really hard on developing it. Um, but I had this support network around me. Yeah. You know, I had people in that network that I could turn to or ask to for support. And that mm -hmm. helped massively. <clears throat> and still does again th this is one of the things that keeps coming through surrounding yourself with people that are in the space that you are that are driven in the same space that you are helps yeah. move forward it, it's again we see this time and time again and the reason why i share these stories with all of you watching at home is because it works. These things work. The reason why people like Nikki and our guests that come on the show and myself have these successful businesses is mm -hmm. because, A, 
we surround ourselves with the people that either we aspire to be like or that are driven and going in the same direction. And also, there's this realization that you can't do it on, all on your own and you can still be incredible, a beacon, a shining light in your industry and yeah. ask for help and invest in yourself for help. And yeah. I don't know about you, Nikki, but I found that every time I've invested that little bit more and that little bit more and that little bit more, every time it's paid off in dividends each time. And every time I've leveled up, that next level up and I've got that support that it it's it's paid off itself because I've got the skin in the game and I'm playing the game yeah I mean gosh absolutely I mean my my whole business until the pandemic hit was all face to face people used to come and see me in my office you know I I built my whole business through um through networking through word of mouth recommendation and referral that's what my whole business is based on yeah. and you know, I remember um, I remember back in November 2019 meeting Lisa and investing in Passion for Passive, as, as it was right. called then. And I was like, I kind of know I need to be in this online game, but, you know, I'm in this comfort zone over here. I'm all right, you know, kind of thing. And, of course, March hit, pandemic hit, and it was like, oh. The bottom okay. fell out of everybody's world and the world fell out of everybody's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god right I need to do this online thing like pretty bloody quickly so I moved my whole business online um but you know just investing in that first part in um you know working with Lisa working with Wave is yeah. has actually led me to launch in Facebook group launching a course um you know getting to really um get some key structures in my place to help me upscale um but also you know, I ended up um, like partnering with Lisa on one to many last year. And yeah. that was a massive learning curve. But right. oh, my God, it was the best experience ever. So, yeah. you know, like being like you say, being in these spaces and investing in yourself, for sure, these things have have absolutely paid off and are continuing to pay off. I've spoken yeah. to people's Facebook groups and yeah, so many things. I love it. I love it. I love it. So tell us what what are your plans for your business? Because I know you just started with another mastermind. Now yeah. you're going to be, you, you know, you're working on your own trajectory. What are the plans for you to take your business where it is right now to where it is you really want to be? What's the, the mission behind that? Yeah. So, you know, where I really want to take my business is, you know, I want to be helping thousands of female entrepreneurs and business owners don't yeah. get me wrong I do work with a few guys I you know yep. I do have a few guys in my client base but they seem to be very much in the creative industry which is really interesting so maybe they're in touch with their feminine side through the creative I know. I'm not sure I know. but you know I I am hugely passionate about helping um thousands of female business owners to achieve the business that they are looking for and, you know, I, I know through the help, through the businesses I've helped so far, how that's managed to change their life. And, you know, I want to do that with, for so many more people. So whether that's one to one, whether that's my courses, whether they're in my Facebook group or whether that's my group coaching and masterminding sessions that I run, yeah. you know, I want to I want to reach people and and help them. I love it. So. I want you to think of a time oh, when God. you <laughs> I'll put you on the spot. Yeah. Um I want you to think of a time when you have met a client and they and they were in they were in that pain situation. Because the thing is, and we were saying this before, we often don't go looking for help until we need help. It's like yeah. our health. We often don't go looking to look after our health until something goes wrong with it, and then we go yeah. starting looking for yeah. the yeah. healthcare and wealth providers. So what is can you give me a time when you've someone's come to you and they've gone, Oh, I'm struggling here, Nikki. I'm really struggling. And then you've come in and you've just gone, do, 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 do. And then they've had this, they've had this change. What's your favorite? I mean, I've got low for me, I've got loads of clients, but there is there are some where you go, Do you know what? I wasn't expecting you to pull all of that out of the bag and you have absolutely yeah. smashed it. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've got 
Oh gosh, I've got quite a few clients to fit into that realm actually. However, it's like um, a mom you can't pick your favorite kid, you know. Like yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So I um yeah, I mean, I had a client come to me probably about two and a half years ago now, and they were not interested in the business side of their business. They just right. wanted to focus on what they delivered in their business. They weren't interested at all, didn't know their numbers, didn't know, didn't have a structure. And, you know, I I work through a four-step process, which is really simply plan, do, review, and improve. Nice. And those four steps, I month on month consistently took that business through that structure. And they have year on year trebled their income from where they were from when they first started with me. And their plans for this year even though I know they're a bit scared about them, but that's okay. <laughs> but they are this year, um, you know, set for amazing goals this year. But they have wow. consistent activity that we've worked on together. They have ch had life-changing financial results. And that's the thing, isn't it? It's you can ask for the help and you can invest. Yeah. And you can find the best business coach in the world. You can find the best programs, the best courses in the world. And sometimes, and I, and this breaks my heart, you get lots of people that turn into knowledgeable fools. Yeah. People who know what they need to do, but who just don't do the things that they need to do. And it's that fear. And mm -hmm. there's a fine line between that fear, that sticky feeling. It's funny, my team laugh at me. When we're planning something big, I spend a lot of time trying to explain to them and then yeah. gip in, in between, like this. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do this. Well, <laughs> and every time I'm up leveling, every time I'm investing in myself, every time I do that next level orb, it's a yeah, we're yeah. feeling sick. But here we go, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Some people can't get past that feeling sick because sometimes sitting at the bottom of the mountain and looking up at the mountain and thinking, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Mm. It's false to think for a lot of you out there that if you just invest, that's it. That person's going to come in and wave a magic wand and everything yeah. is going to be better. Yeah. Um, what what would you what was your what would your advice be? I'll put my teeth back in. Yeah. What would your advice be to people who are looking to invest in their development right now? Yeah. So a couple of things really. I would say do your research. So mm -hmm. absolutely check out who is out there that fits that fits you and where you want to be. I've heard some stories recently where, you know, people have had quite bad experiences. And I, I always think, you know, your investment in that kind of thing shouldn't be a bad experience. It should always be a great learning experience, even if, right. you know, things weren't quite as you expected. But, you know, I would definitely say, do your research, look for recommendations and referrals, you know, speak to people, who have you used, who are you working with, what kind of results have you got? And if just what you were saying in terms of like people not necessarily having wanting to invest or having that fear around investing, to me, there's some personal development work that needs to be done there. Right. And the one thing that I also talk a lot with my clients about is yes we're working through this on a business side but actually how are you investing and in working yourself on a personal side how are you overcoming your fears blocks and you know those kind of things as well because I think the two go hand in hand and right. if you're in, if you're looking to invest and looking to um you know upscale and move in your business you won't be the same person um, at the, you know, at the beginning, the during, at the end of that journey, as you were when you were kind of thinking about it, if that makes sense. You need to go on a journey yourself personally, as well as the business journey you're embarking on. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a toughie if you've never had to do it before. And a lot, some, I'm really blessed with with the audience that listen to this, Nikki. Is that mm -hmm. we have established and seasoned entrepreneurs who are used to investing in themselves and their personal yeah. growth and their business growth, their strategy, their, yeah. and then and then down to the finer aspects like their brand or their speaking mm -hmm. in my case or, yeah. or whatever it is. And then we've got people that are just starting out. People yeah. that of the about to take the plunge into working for mm -hmm. themselves. Yeah. What 
what tips would you give to somebody who's about to make that leap who has you we talked before about often people don't go and look for the help before yeah, yeah. like they need the help but there's somebody yeah. out there who's sat and they're thinking i need to pivot online and i'm yeah. struggling right now and yeah. i don't know how to do it i um maybe that's not the right maybe that's not the right example to give because we're talking about not struggling and um, mm. what i'm trying to think what kind of driving that is what tips would you give to somebody who mm. wants to make that leap to creating their own business they might not be ready to invest just yet because they might not have the collateral to be able to do it yeah oh gosh so many <laughs> <laughs> talking all your gold away i want people to come and yeah. find you that's what i'm doing <laughs> absolutely and um, you know i think I think first and foremost, it's really understanding what you're passionate about. You know, what what type of business do you want to be running? And, you know, what really makes your heart sing? What would you jump out of bed and do every morning? What would feel effortless? So I think finding that idea, because I always say no idea is a bad idea. It's just about right. working it through and talking it through. Yeah. But First of all, what are you most passionate about? What is your business idea? What do you want to be doing? And, you know, I would then start looking at, okay, well, if this is the type of thing I want to be doing, who's out there? You know, who else right. is there doing it? Who yes. else? What bit of competitor analysis, so to speak, you know? Right. Oh, sorry, that's the corporate buyer coming in and coming out. But, you know, it's like, it's that kind of who's out there doing it? Well, like, kind of what what's their strap line what are, what's their what are they charging how are they going about it and you know i think also as well starting to just get some kind of um dipping the toe in the water with maybe some social media and just kind of you know starting to talk more about who you are and what what you're looking to do and what your personality is because again that will really help further down the line that people will start to see your personality and start to see the types of things that you're starting in about. business yeah. doing, what you're about and i you know i've heard it so many times recently people are really nosy and do want to see you on social media right they want to see bits you know bits about your business bits about your personality right. um and then when you're there I think in terms of like passion about what you want to do and also, um, you know, seeing who else is out there and what you want to do, I'd start getting into some kind of networking or some kind of, you know, just dipping. You're your speaking in my language, Nikki. Just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turn up. Show up in places, yeah, and even if you're showing up and you've not built it yet, go and show up. Even okay. if so, somewhere like the Hive, for example, welcomes people wherever they're at, right? So we've yeah. got seven figure earners in there. We've got people yeah. that are just starting out, people that are thinking about just starting out. But you, there's nothing to say. You can't go in that space and say, hey, I'm just starting out and I don't have a clue. Yeah. And you're shouting out. And then you've got a network there of people that go, yeah. oh, well, I can help you with this or I can help yeah. you with that. It's a great place to start thinking about who is out there doing the thing that you want to do because success yeah. leaves clues doesn't it yeah yeah and I think <laughs> as well, if you're in that networking space and you're around like-minded people they'll go oh have you tried this and oh have you tried that and you'll start to pick up nuggets that will help you and you know again i've heard this so many times don't obviously listen to everyone and get overwhelmed and start going all oh, right i need to do all these yes things. it does get noisy but just go with gut instinct. What feels right? What kind of nuggets of information am I being offered that actually are going to help me with where I want to start this business? Bloody love it. I bloody love it. I love Nikki, tell us. <laughs> uh, but your, your, net, your network, and I say this all the time, your network is your net worth. Yeah. The more time that you spend in the areas where there are people, and networking isn't just about, hey, buy my shit. No. You don't just turn to a networking no. meeting with a business card and go, hi, I'm looking for people who want a public speaking coach. I yeah. want people who want to know how to become an overnight success. Come and speak to me. I'm going to sell you. Yeah. Nobody, nobody, nobody gives a shit. No. People only give a shit when they realize you give a shit. So you've got to show up and give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And I, you know, again, I've heard those stories time and time again, but you know, if you're networking, you're in it for the long term. It's, it's a long business game. It's not, a short like in and out and you know i've invested in networking for the last six years and that is still paying me today 
you know, yeah. through the recommendations and referrals, word of mouth, all of those things, people still come to me today from people I met four or five years ago because people remember those that have built relationships and been there. Absolutely. So what's coming up for you? So you've got so you've got a quite the year ahead of you. As as we were saying, you've just you've just traveling Lisa Johnson Inspiration Destination Mastermind, and that's just I all have. kicked off this week. Yeah. Um tell us what's coming up for you. Yeah, so um I am launching some new masterminding groups. So Brilliant. final details are just being pulled together right now, but that will be um in place in March. Uh, so that's my imminent. I am going to be um, launching my course. I'm going to be writing a book. Um, God. Yeah, there's lots of things going on this year, which are really, really exciting. Um, so yeah, masterminding course, those are going to be the key, key, key things. Um, I do work with clients one on one, but that's a real, you know, intense kind of 90 day program that we work on to really propel you in your business so um yeah it's really it's interesting about masterminds it's that next level up isn't it you, you do a course and you kind of you're still doing those things in silos you can create a bit of community but mastermind is really about coming together one of the reasons why i absolutely love running the two masterminds that i'd have a speaking one and then a brand and visibility one with the incredible yeah. nikki james just running those you it, you create a whole it's a whole different level it's just phenomenal yeah. so super excited to, please do come and tell us about that when that when you're pressing the go button we'd love to oh, know more about it. thank you nikki matiasic did i get it right that time Yay! yes <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here on the show at Wise Up Rise Up Show. Thank welcome. you for the work that you do helping entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are holding up the economy in our whole area right now Hopefully. where the doors are closed, ours are open. Um, yeah. And thank you, thank you for supporting those businesses now more than ever. It's incredible the work that you do. Huge love thank to you. you. Nikki, go and seek her out. How do we hang out with you? Oh gosh, so Instagram, I'm Nikki Business Buddy and I have my own Facebook group called the Business Buddies Club. So come over and join us. Uh, there's loads going on there to keep, keep you on track, keep you accountable. So yeah, and I've got an accountability toolkit actually, which will get some, uh, it's got some steps in place um, to really help you stay on track. So I can share the link in the in the chat. Please do, please do. Nikki, yeah. Matiasnik, thank you so much. The business oh, buddy, well. everybody, the crowd go wild. We will see thank you super you. soon. Thank you. That was the wonderful, wonderful Nikki. The business buddy, please do go and check out the Business Buddies Club if you are looking for more strategic support right now. Um, it is definitely something that more of us need. What an incredible guest this morning. I am excited at three o'clock today uh, me and nikki james are going to be going live once again giving you some more details on the rockstar level up mastermind we've been talking about investing in your um in your development we've been talking about having skin in the game and playing the game we've been talking about making sure you've got the right mentors around you especially when you're an entrepreneur and we have got something for you right now that is super 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 incredible um for those of you that are ready to get involved so if you do want to know more about the rockstar level up mastermind that i am running the doors are open they will only be open for a couple of weeks we begin in february we kick off in february so let me know get in my dms if you want more information or tune in at 3 p.m today and we will give you a little bit more information around the rockstar level up huge love to all of you happy hump day and also a shout out to my b treaters so before christmas i launched the very first uh, iatq b treat however furious but we had to postpone the B treat. So we're going to run a special retreat online tomorrow and Friday. Super excited about that. So please, 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 to the retreaters, B treaters, have gird your loins, roll your sleeves up. We are going to spend the next two days, Thursday, Friday, planning the bejesus out of the next uh, 12 months and beyond for you and your businesses. So super excited to be spending time doing that. So holler out to all my bee treaters. Holler out to all my bee inspired mastermind. We are hanging out tomorrow. At, uh, tomorrow? No, we're not. Tonight at eight o'clock. Don't miss tomorrow's show. Half past nine. We have got the fabulous Joe Swan from Chocolate PR and the famous five. On the show, on the show at Wise Up Rise Up Show. Take care of each other, you guys. You are fabulous. Um, 
I am excited for everything that's coming up. Keep your eyes and your peepers peeled. Come and join the conversation in the IATQB Hive. Make sure you're following me for Operation Swipe Up on uh, Instagram at the Queen Bee Danny, and I will see you tomorrow. Tra.